Hello everybody, this is Tiziano and today we are going to do something more advanced. So we're going to write our first drone delivery code that will connect with the vehicle and wait for the operator to upload a mission with Mission Planner. Once a valid mission has been uploaded, our script will add our current location to the mission and then will arm and take off. Once the valid altitude has been reached, the vehicle is commanded to go into auto mode and so it will start following his program pattern. Okay? And once the last waypoint has been reached, the vehicle is commanded to go into return to launch and our script will delete the mission. And once the vehicle will touch the ground, our script will reset his status and will be ready for new adventures. In order to do that, we are going to define new functions like uploading a new mission, downloading the mission, modifying the waypoint list. And it will be very fun and very interesting. Also very useful, I hope. Plus, we're going to define our own state machine. So we're going to introduce the concept of state machine. What is a state machine? It's a convenient way of grouping together a set of actions that will make your programming much easier. Our state machine will have nothing to do with the drone state machine that has its own internal state machine it will de and it's defined by its own state like guided, takeoff, auto, manual. Our state machine defines our script and it will be composed by just three simple states that is ground, mission and back. It will be very fun and so I invite you to join me for the next tutorial. We start our script by importing the classical libraries and then arm and takeoff function. We define clear mission as a quick way of clearing the mission on board a vehicle. And download mission as a, a quick way of uh, downloading the mission from the vehicle. And we create get current mission. So we download the mission from the vehicle and we store the waypoint into a mission list. And we return how many waypoints are in the list and the mission list. The next function is a little bit more complicated. I call it add last waypoint to mission. So in this way, we're gonna we add a waypoint to the current mission. The first thing we do is we download the mission and then we create a last waypoint using command function, and we pass the uh, latitude, longitude, and altitude that come as an input to this function. Then we append this waypoint to the list that is being created is created by the um, download mission before. Then we clear the mission, and then we upload the mission again. And at the end, we just return the number of waypoints in the current mission. Then we define change mode. It's very easy. It just changes mode, and it, it tries to change the mode as long as the, the mode is not equal to the one that we want. Finally, we initialize a couple of variables like the ground speed that we want to fly and the uh, actual mode. So we connect with the vehicle and we start defining our uh, state machine. Now, keep in mind that the state machine that are going to define in the companion PC is different from the one that is on, on board. So on board of the vehicle, I have different flight modes. While here, I'm going to define some modes that are, uh, that are useful for setting up my logics. So we first set, set up the ground mode, that is the vehicle on the ground, and then as soon as we find a mission, a valid mission, we, we change the mode to takeoff. In the takeoff, what do we do? We add the waypoint, we add the last waypoint, that is the home waypoint, to the current mission, and then we arm and take off. And once the vehicle is at 10 meters, we change mode and we go to, we change the vehicle mode to auto, and then we change our local state machine to mission. In mission mode, the vehicle, the, the the companion PC, what it does, it doesn't do anything. It just monitors the mission, and the, as soon as I'm I'm done with the mission, so the uh, index is equal to the uh, to the uh, vehicle commands dot count. At that point, what I do, I just delete the mission, and I set the vehicle to return to launch, and then the local mode is set to back. And in back mode, 
what I do, I just monitor the altitude, and once the altitude is below one meter, the, the mode is, uh, goes back to ground, and the system can start over. Now to the example. So we start a simulator, and we start map proxy as usual, so I can connect both the companion PC and the mission planner in Windows. So on the right side, you're going to see on my virtual machine in Linux. On the left side is my Windows machine where it runs mission planner. I start my script, and the script connects with the vehicle and puts the, the local mode to ground. And it's downloading the mission. As you see, it's trying and downloading the mission. Now I go back to mission planner, and I connect with the vehicle through the UDP port. When I'm done uh, connecting, I set up a mission. So uh, let's put you know a, a waypoint, I don't know, here and another waypoint here, and it's, it's OK. Then I write the mission. And as soon as the mission is written on the companion PC, it will find a, a valid mission. So the vehicle it goes, in, the, the, the mode goes into uh, takeoff. So the vehicle uh, arms and take off. And as you see on the left, I have the vehicle is set in guided, and then it takes off. Once the, the altitude is reached, then the companion PC mode goes to mission. So the, the vehicle mode is set to auto, and the mission starts. A one, and then two. Now, as, as soon as the waypoint two is reached, the, the local companion PC goes into uh, back mode. The, the mission has been deleted, and the vehicle is set to return to launch. And in fact, if we download the mission, we can verify that the mission has been deleted. Here it is. OK, now that when a vehicle comes back and lands, and as you see here on the right, it's, it's written mission deleted. OK, now the vehicle comes back and returns to launch while the companion PC is in back mode. Keep in mind, there are two different modes. OK, now when the vehicle reaches uh, an altitude that is below one meter, the companion PC mode goes into ground. And in fact, as you see, it's downloading mission, downloading mission. Now, if I create a new mission and I write it, as soon as I write it, the flight plan has been received. And an evaluation has been, has been uploaded, and so the vehicle, the companion PC, goes into upload mode. And as usual, that wasn't hard at all. We learned so many things, and it was very, very fun. Now, probably in the future, we are also going to learn how to set up our companion PC. But for now, I'll thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.